I wanted to talk a little bit about one of my favourite bar bets. And the idea behind this is I've got lots of uh, drinking receptacles, let's call them, of different heights. How far along here do you have to go before the distance around the top is uh, shorter than the height? I love this result. So if you're looking at a particular cup, it has the height, it has whatever that is, it has the distance around. And in general, the distance around is deceptively large. That is for any given cup, we might assume that the cup is taller than it is in terms of that circumference of the base. But in fact, almost always the opposite is true. So what I'm gonna do is walk through a simulation using Desmos so we can hopefully start to develop an intuition of what must a glass look like in order for it to actually be taller than it is distance around. All right, so let's start here. And the first thing we're going to do is define a particular radius, R, A, D, and we'll just start with, I don't know, three. The first thing I'm gonna get is just a base for the cup. So we're gonna write a basic equation for a circle, X squared, plus y squared, we're just going to center this thing at the origin, equals rad squared. So there it is, that's what the base of our cup looks like. In fact, let's have it be a disc, not just a circle, less than or equal to. So now we can see a solid base for our cup. Now the distance around the cup is of course what we call circumference, and circumference is 2 times pi times the radius. So for us, that's the rad. Wow, this cup with a radius of 3 has a a circumference of 18.85 ish. And so if we set a height equal to this particular cup, so h equals c, and then we went into three dimensions, we would have to have at least roughly that much, a little less than 20. Let's actually get that here. So we're going to take our equation for the circle. We're going to turn it back into an equation, but we're going to give it some depth now. So along that z axis, we're going to say z equals h, oh, but I want to be able to see the whole thing. So let's say z is less than or equal to h, and we're not going into the negatives, so let's bound z at zero as well. Okay, and there it is. That is how tall a cup would have to be. Oh, get this thing to be all the same color. We don't want gray, we want blue. So there it is. That is what a cup would have to look like if we have a radius of three, if we have a distance across of six. Therefore, our circumference is quite a bit bigger than 18, just a little bit less than 20. If we zoom out a little bit, we can see, okay, so that's kind of how thin and tall the cup needs to be. I would say quite a bit taller than your standard cup or glass. So yeah, if you're trying to win a bar bet here, you would almost always presume that that distance around is in fact greater than the height.